morning. Welcome to School Around the Corner. This evening we're in the Maiden City at Long Tower Primary School. Kimberly Donaghy and Nula Devine have written, begging us to visit their school, which comes complete with 530 pupils. Miss Phyllis McLaughlin is the head teacher, and among the past pupils we can list soccer stars Liam Coyle and Felix Healy, as well as playwright Brian Freel. No doubt we're about to meet a few new stars now. Hello, Frank. Hello, Nula. And Kimberly. This is some school, isn't it? Oh, it's bright and it's spacious. And all the pictures on the wall. What do you like best about the school, Nula? I think it's very colourful. It certainly is. And you, Kimberly? I like the flowers. We get fresh flowers all the time. Oh, they're beautiful. And there's a great smell of cooking, too. Now, you're going to come and dip your apples into this chocolate to make our chocolate apples. What sort of apple do you have? What sort of one's that? And you dip your apple, and then you're going to put some sprinkles on. Part of Derry City's success was carved out on this playground. The brandy well's just over there. There'll be no time to those lads are over there too. The Long Tar girls aren't short on success either. For them, the sky's the limit. A colourful pageant celebrates the memory of St Columba, the school is built on the reputed site of the Saint's first monastery. There's a rich sense of history here at Long Tower. And your book is, I'm the King of the Castle, and you're the... Dirty Wee Rascals. <laughs> now let's see how many rascals we can meet here. Niall Bradley and Teresa Cook are first off. <laughs> Niall, lovely red hair. Where did you get that hair? Go ahead. God gave it to you. Was it a special gift from God? What sort of person is God, Niall? He makes you. How does he make you? With blood. <laughs> blood and... Skin. And what else does he use? Yeah, your body. And did he make a good person when he made you? Yes. What sort of good things do you do, Niall? I do... Exercises. What sort of exercises do you do? <laughs> Is that why you're so fit? What's the heaviest thing you've ever lifted? A tire. What sort of tire did you lift? A big, big, giant one. <laughs> and what was the big, big, giant tire of? It was a big, big, giant car. And where was the big, big, giant car? In a big, big, giant castle. In Derry. It's <laughs> a great place, isn't it? Have you ever been in a big castle, Teresa? Yeah. Where was the castle? Well, the castles were being Where was the castle? With beans. Oh, a castle with beans in it. <laughs> And what else do you find in a castle? Food. What sort of food do people who live in castles eat? Peas. No. Very posh food, isn't it? Yeah. Teresa, do you have any brothers and sisters? Just a sister. Tell me all about your sister. Well, I call her Rachel. You call her what? Rachel. What sort of things does Brijo do? Hi, Thomas. I'm going to sleep in the morning. I think that boy's going to sleep over there, is he? <laughs> Have you any brothers and sisters? I'm getting a sister. Come on up here and tell me about your sister. Tell me about your sister that you're getting. And I go to my new house. And when are you going to a new house? 
where um, a new man buys it. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the house going to be like? Pink for my sister's bedroom um, and blue for my bedroom. And will you put posters in your bedroom? No, I'm going to put wild things in my bedroom. What sort of wild things? Will you put tigers in it? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what was that? It's a skeleton. <laughs> what does the skeleton have? Yes, a wee piano. <laughs> and what sort of music does he play? He plays. When you have to meet my sister, you have to be in a dish. You can be there. Brilliant. Give the boy applause. He likes the adoration, doesn't he? Yeah. What sort of music do you like, Teresa? Well, I like Jingle Little Star. Tell me how that goes. Big loud voice. Trinka, trinka, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Trinka, trinka, little star. Brilliant! Who are you going to introduce for us, Niall? Claire Gallagher. And, of course, Emer Coyle, singing over here. <laughs> And a certificate for Teresa and one for Niall. Thank you, thank you. Who's next from the banks of the foil? It's Michael McAllister and Dean Jarvis. <laughs> My goodness me, Michael, you're a big fella for your age. You're seven, aren't you? Yes. You look about nine or ten. What sort of what sort of food do you eat? Quiche. Quiche? Yes. Every time. What sort of things do you make quiche from? I uh, don't know. But you like it? Yes. And Dean, what's your favourite food? Meat. How do you like your meat cooked? Mm. Do you like it fried or do you like it boiled? Boiled. Do you like the stew? <laughs> nah. What's your... <laughs> no, stew, I don't like the stew myself. What's your favourite football team, Dean? Man United. And why are you a Man United fan? Because. Who's your favourite player on the Man United team? Ryan Giggs. Why do you like Ryan Giggs? Because. He's a good player, isn't he? Do you have a favourite football team, Michael? Yes. Which one? Celtic. 
And who's your favourite Celtic player? I don't know any Celtic players. <laughs> but you like their jersey? Yes. And you like them to win? <coughs> Do you know any jokes, Dean? Aye. Tell me one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yes. Just who? Just me. <laughs> oh, just me. <laughs> Michael's not there, no. <laughs> Do you know any jokes, Michael? No. But you could introduce the next entertainer, couldn't you? Who's coming up next? Yeah, Dorothy is going to say a poem called The Head's Hideout by Kid Wright. The Head's Hideout. Let's hear this. The head crouched in his hideout beneath a dustbin lid. I want to see, he muttered. No teacher and no kid. No parent, no inspector, never a district nurse. And please, not one school dinner, the things are getting worse. All morning, as the phone rang, he hid away. Instead, the head is in the dustbin, the secretary said. The head is in the dustbin? Yes, he'll be there all day. He likes sometimes to manage a little getaway. Last year he went to Holland. Next year he's off to France. Today he's in the dustbin. You'll have to take your chance. The head sprang from the garbage. As end of school came round, he cried, That's quite the nastiest hideaway I've found. I think I'll stick to teachers and kids and parents too. It's just sometimes I've had enough. Don't blame him, do you? Oh, what a fine voice. And to get the green and one for Michael. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Who's coming next? It's Nicole Beatty and Kitty Hutchinson. <laughs> Lovely ringlets. Ringlets and curls. If you had a magic wand, Kitty... What would you turn yourself into? A dog. Why would you like to be a dog? Because a bone is a toothbrush when you have a dog. Is that right? You can use a bone as a toothbrush. And would you have to use toothpaste? <coughs> There's no such thing as doggy toothpaste. What's your favourite programme on TV, Nicole? Um, cartoons. What sort of cartoons do you like? Which characters? I see Barney. But I don't see Barbie. Do you like Barbie? How many Barbies do you have? Two. And what do you call them? One is um, Amy, one is Pocatus. And what do you call their boyfriend? They don't have any of them. You don't have any of the boyfriends. So you're young enough having a boyfriend, aren't you? Does this girl have a boyfriend? No. If you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go? America. Why would you like to go to America? Yeah. My godmother, sir. And what do you call your godmother? Jane. What about you, Nicole? Do you have a godmother? Do you have a special granny or anyone? I just have Granny Dylan and Granny Horkin. Tell me about your grannies. Um, I got, I got one granny and two granny and three grannies. Three grannies, that's an advantage, isn't it? Do you ever get anything for your grannies? Me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever bought anything for your grannies? They make clothes. But they wear tights like you. They uh, just wear big tights. <laughs> big dull tights. Do you ever watch the weather on TV? Yes. Does Daddy ever watch it? He says you always get it wrong. <laughs> and what's coming next, Kitty? We've got the pageant. Yes, we've got the dramatic pageant over here. One day, along a visit to the monastery of Mofoa, Columba sees a beautiful manuscript belonging to Finnian and he decides to make a copy of it for himself. He works all night, and he has just finished. 
when Finnane comes in. Hello, Columba. You were up early this morning. What are you doing? Are you copying my book? Yes, it was so beautiful, I couldn't resist it. Do you mind? Yes, I do mind. You never asked my permission. What? Your permission? I didn't think I had to ask your permission. My own monks copy my manuscripts all the time. They don't have to come round to me to ask my permission. Nevertheless, it's my book. You have no right to go behind my back and copy my book. Now look here, Finnan. Who founded this monastery? Who put you in charge here? It was you, Columba, but that book is mine, and I don't want you copying it. I will appeal to the High King. What? You dare go from my head to the High King? You'll be sorry you ever started this, Finnan. Well, you're never far from drama in Derry, and we have a certificate for Kitty and one for Nicole. Thank you. And coming up next, Margaret Brady and Gregory Boyle. Hello, girls. Hello. Now, Margaret, what are important things in life, Margaret? Not, not to smoke, not to drink, and, and, and don't let anybody go hungry. Would you smoke or drink? No. Sensible girls in Derry. What sort of things are important to you, Deirdre? Well, things important to me that I love my family and all that. And who do you like best in your family? Well, I can't say that because I like all of them, so do I. That's a very <laughs> diplomatic answer. That's a perfect answer, isn't it? <laughs> What's your favourite programme on TV? The Angry Beavers. And what exactly are the Angry Beavers? One stoopy and one smart. And which one would I be? You'd be the smart one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And who would the dopey one be? Well, the real and my dog. Tell me about your dog. Well, my dog ran away, so I thought it was called Beachy. And where do you think Beachy is? Well, we think she's with the soldiers now. You think the soldiers might be playing with Beachy? Yes. And the soldiers would look after Beachy well, wouldn't they? Yes. And so the next time you see the patrol walking along the road with a sniffer dog, it just might be Beachy. Do you think so? Yes. And what about you, Margaret? Do you have any pets? Yes, I have I've one, one dog and he called Snowy. And what sort of dog is Snowy? A Chinese Crest Powder Puff. A Chinese what? Crest Powder Puff. What does he look like? Well, it was, it's short in the fur and it has big droopy ears and big, big pink things come around here, right round his eyes. Is he cuddly? Uh, yes. Do you like any sport at all? Yes, I like, I like skipping and, and football. And which football team do you support? Man United. Great team. Which team do you support, Deirdre? Chelsea. Why do you support Chelsea? Because my favourite player is Rudy. Rude Hullet. Is he your favourite player? Yeah. Do you know any of the others? Yes, there's Dennis Wade and Zola. And is Zola a big fella or a wee fella? Big. You think he's big? He's speedy, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> so who's next to entertain us? Sinead McKeever and Daniel Kilm are going to say a poem called The Saucy Sailor. We're looking forward to this. The Saucy Sailor. Traditional. Come, my own one. Come, my fond one. Come, my dearest, on to me. Will you wed with a poor sailor lad who has just returned from sea? Owen! Indeed, I'll have no sailor for his dirty smells of tar. You are ragged. You are saucy. Get you gone, you jacky tar. If I'm dirty, if I'm ragged, if maybe of tar I smell, yet I've silver in my pocket and a store of gold as well. When she heard him thus address her, down upon her knees she fell, saying, 
Oh, ragged, dirty sailor, I love you more than words can tell. Do you tempt me to be foolish? Do you think that I am mad that I'd wear the like of you, miss, when there's others to be had? No, I'd cross the briny ocean. No, my boat shall spread her wing. You refuse me, ragged, dirty. Not for you, the wedding ring. For the good old saucy sailor and certificates for the girls, thank you indeed. Who's coming up next? Final guests, Amy Coyle and Stephanie Green. <laughs> in a competition, weren't you? Tell me all about the competition. Little Miss Northern Ireland. Little Miss Northern Ireland. And did you win? Second. Oh, you should have won. Tell me about who was on the stage with you. Nobody. <laughs> you were up on your own and you came second. <laughs> That's some competition. Do mummies and daddies do the same work, Stephanie, at home? No. What work does Mummy do and what work does Daddy do? Daddy lies in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> and what does poor Mummy have to do? Cooking, she has to do the washing, she has to do the cleaning. And does your Daddy not do any of that? No, when he gets up out of his bed, he, he lies down the sofa. <laughs> Sounds like my sort of man. Amy, what sort of things do you do when you're at your granny's? I fight with my cousins. Do you? And which cousins do you fight with? Jenna. Do you do any other naughty things, Amy? <laughs> what naughty things does she do, Stephanie? Uh, squeal. I do not squeal. <laughs> does she squeal in class? Yes. No, I do not. Carry on. Stephanie, what sort of thing would you buy your granny? Um, vodka. <laughs> you buy her vodka. Is she fond of the vodka? Yes. And how much vodka would your granny drink? Pies it. And does she drink it at home? Yes. What does she put in the vodka? Coke. And does she ever give you any of the coke? No. What's so nice about Amy, Stephanie? She has lovely blonde hair. <laughs> so have you, lovely blonde hair. Uh, but mine's as dark and tears as light. It's really nice, Amy, isn't it? <laughs> What's so nice about Stephanie, Amy? I like smile. <laughs> it's a great smile, isn't it? Girls, you are good crack. Amy, who's coming up next? P7 Choir. They are, and they're about to sing the Song of Ulster. Certificates for you, one for you, and one for you. Beautiful singing. Thank you very much for joining us here on School Around the Corner from Long Tower Primary School in Derry. We'll be doing it each Sunday evening at this time. And don't forget, next time around, we could be at the School Around the Corner from you. Bye bye.